Elon Musk, who has faced claims of being an alien seeking to return to his homeland, has brought himself one step closer to this goal with his successful static fire test on his much-awaited Starship spacecraft. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. He's probably an alien. I'm, I'm now convinced that he's an alien. The ultimate aim of this Starship, developed by SpaceX, is to create a fully reusable rocket system that can carry a significant amount of people, equipment and supplies into deep space, with the purpose of enabling human life to become multiplanetary, which Musk considers to be the holy grail. SpaceX is constantly making waves in the field of exploring space with its grand plans. Recently, the company has been gearing up for the much-anticipated launch of its Starship prototype into orbit. To make sure the rocket engines were working correctly, SpaceX conducted a static fire test last Thursday, February the 9th, which involved testing 31 out of the 33 engines in the rocket booster. It was the last major obstacle before the launch, and SpaceX confirmed via Twitter that the engines had performed as expected. Though CEO Elon Musk mentioned that one engine was initially turned off and another engine shut down on its own during the procedure, he was still confident that the rocket has enough engines to make it into orbit. In a tweet, Musk emphasized enough engines to reach orbit. The Starship is an essential part of NASA's plan to take astronauts back to the moon and conduct cargo missions beyond Earth. The company won a nearly $3 billion contract from NASA in 2021 to help them achieve these objectives. Unfortunately, various challenges, including regulatory approval, have caused delays in SpaceX progress. The original launch date for the first orbital Starship was set for the summer of 2021, but the need to obtain a launch license for the Federal Aviation Administration has pushed back the timeline. Despite this, Gwen Shoddle, the president and COO of SpaceX, remains optimistic that they will be prepared to launch as soon as the license is granted. She has also stated that a successful static fire test last Thursday will pave the way for the first Starship orbital flight to take place in the next month or so. So, is Elon Musk also partially to blame for the recent UFO sightings reported around the world? While a recent sighting in Hawaii had some people dusting off their tinfoil hats, it turns out the culprit was far less exciting than little green men. However, one Japanese telescope caught footage of a strange blue vortex-like spiral that was linked to the launch of a new SpaceX satellite. This isn't the first time that a spiral phenomena has been associated with SpaceX. So, it seems like we won't be needing Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones to save us from aliens just Rain yet. Water. Tap water. All right, Beatrice, there was no alien. Flash of light you saw in the sky was not a UFO. Swamp gas from a weather balloon was trapped in a thermal pocket and refracted the light from Venus. But what does the successful test of Starship mean for the future of space travel? SpaceX aims to launch the Starship prototype to orbit soon which will be a significant step towards transporting humans to Mars and the Moon. The Starship prototype is highly anticipated by NASA, as it is intended for transporting astronauts to the Moon's surface and meeting up with the Orient capsule in a lunar orbit. Additionally, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk plans to utilize the immense Starship to transport large groups of people to Mars in the future. During the recent static fire test, only the first stage Super Heavy Booster, which towers at a height of 2 130 feet, or 69 meters, was used while the advanced second stage, which is engineered to land on the Moon and Mars, was being prepared for launch in the hangar. The Starship, standing at 394 feet, is the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, capable of producing 17 million pounds of liftoff thrusts. For comparison, NASA's Moon rocket that launched an empty capsule to the moon and back in late 2021 generated only half as much crust. Over the past decade, private funding for space-related companies has increased tenfold, with a growing focus on deeper planetary exploration, particularly Mars. While funding has mainly centered around Earth's activities, private investments in projects involving Mars and beyond reach an all-time high of $1 billion in 2021, according to McKinsey. This renewed interest in space exploration has resulted in new opportunities for companies like SpaceX, 
which aims to construct reusable rocket systems for transporting people and equipment to deep space. If SpaceX is successful with both Starship and its Starlink Global Satellite Internet Initiative, many experts believe that the company could be valued in the trillions of dollars. Regardless of whether Elon Musk is an alien or not, there is no denying that he is a remarkable visionary and a transformative leader in the world of innovation. For instance, he formulated this about his business in SpaceX. You want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great. And that's what being a spacefaring civilization is all about. It's about believing in the future and thinking that the future will be better than the past. And I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. So what do you think? Will SpaceX be able to go to Mars soon? Let us know in the comments below. We hope to see you in our next video.